Welcome to Ucanic. Today we have a 2016 Kia Optima and we're going to go over how you would pair your phone to the car. Um, you're going to need the key at least in the on position or the accessories. Then you're going to hit the power button for the radio and we get it to this screen and once we're to this screen then you can go ahead and hit the phone button and then you're going to want to pair your phone. Turn Bluetooth on from your device in order to search. Right. And so then on your phone, you're going to want to pull down and where you got the Bluetooth symbol, on if you device, hold that, if you hold that, it'll bring it up. And then we've got the Kia Motors. We tap it and say connect. And then also, you see it's got a passcode on there and that same passcode will come up on your phone. And you're going to hit OK and then we'd hit OK here. The contact download is starting. Some phones require additional confirmation. Please check your phone and confirm the download if necessary. And there would have been an icon that comes up to request my downloads, but I've already, or my contacts, I've already, um, I don't want it to know my contacts because this isn't my vehicle, but it's also, if it was a rental vehicle, you wouldn't potentially want all your contacts on here, or maybe if it's your buddy's vehicle. So, you can allow it to have all your contacts go your this to the car or not. And so I didn't allow it to go to it. But if you want to make a phone call, there's either icons on the steering wheel, there's a voice button and mode and so forth, and that'll be in an image. But you can hit the phone number, you can hit dial a number, then you can dial your number, hit the call button, right? You'll have your favorites, and then you can add your favorite, or it'll it'll keep a catalog as you keep making phone calls and know your favorites. Also, um, you've got your setup and your contacts, right? If you downloaded your contacts, they would all be right there. And your call history would be right here of all the phone calls you've made, so you could scroll through and find which phone number you would like to call, right? But if you're done and you want to go ahead and remove your phone, you're just going to select it, hit delete, and that will delete your phone and all of your contacts from there. And you can do it for the rest. And that's how you can delete your phone after you're done using it. Uh, if it's your car, you can set it and it'll automatically log in, make it a preference. It'll log into this car whenever you're close or near to it um, with your Bluetooth. So that's how you would do that. Thanks for watching Ucanic, where you can be the mechanic.